All right, let's go ahead and get started. So coming back to our mats, welcome to Friday happy hour noon yoga. And I, if you have not already, go ahead and switch off your phone. I say put, put it on do not disturb because even, I guess we used to say back in the day, put it on vibrate, but that can be distracting too. So we're going to start off on our mat. Easy pose, if that's comfortable for you, you can cross your legs. Yeah, fold them in or extend them out. So do whatever feels helpful for you right now, because this is all about you, right? So I'm just here making suggestions of different things that we can do in our practice, but um, it's all about listening to your own body and seeing what works best for you. And um, as much as possible, trying to leave comparisons, expectations, all that ego-based junk off the mat. Let it go, outside. All right, so starting off here in our easy pose. If you want to, you can close your eyes or just look down at the floor if you prefer. Let's see if we can sit up nice and tall, relax the shoulders, and take a moment to do a little inventory of your body right now. See what's showing up for you today. You know, maybe you think back and, oh my gosh, I really did not want to get up this morning. Maybe you didn't sleep so great. Maybe you're like, wow, this is really bad timing. I'm starving. You know, whatever's going on for you, or it could be stress you're carrying in your shoulders, your neck, back. Maybe you totally overdid it in your home-based gym. So just tune into your body for a few moments. Accept it all, welcome it all. And then bring your awareness to your breathing. So see if you can breathe in and out through your nose. without trying to change it or control it. Simply notice your breath. And then we'll all take a deep inhale and then on the exhale, let out a sigh. So let's inhale. <sighs> yes, it's Friday, we've made it. Again, deep inhale. And then if you'd like to, you can join me in setting an intention for your practice today. So listen, listen to your body. You might even listen or notice your thoughts. And as always, like I said before, we try to leave our ego off the mat. So expectations, comparisons, you know, it could be comparison with how we were five years ago, how the person that we saw on Instagram is. If we think about where we envisioned ourselves today, all those are comparisons. So we can notice that when we have those thoughts. Just pay attention. Okay, so I'll take another deep breath. And exhale. So you can open your eyes now if you have them closed, gently open them. Gently shake your head, yes. 
Yes, I know it's Friday because I'm doing happy hour yoga. Otherwise, I would think it was Tuesday for the 18th day straight. <laughs> And then gently take your hand, no, no, fill in the blanks. Let's hold our head still here and now gently bring our right ear toward our right shoulder. Just real gentle. Notice how this feels in your neck or your left side. And then gently bring your chin toward your chest and pause there. And now bring your left ear to your left shoulder. And then bring your head back. And then gently look up. So just notice how all of this feels in your neck. And back to neutral. Okay, let's inhale our arms up toward the sky, which in my case is a rainy sky. And then exhale over to the right, feeling that extension all along the left side of your torso. Inhale your arms up. Exhale to the left. Inhale your arms up. And then exhale with a slight twist to the right. Inhale up. And slight twist to the left. Inhale up. And then exhale your hands behind your back, clasping them together, pull them up towards the sky as you reach forward, bringing your heart toward the ground. Inhale your arms up. And then clasp your hands together, press them forward if you want to, rounding out your back here. and bring it down. Okay, so from here we're gonna turn and place our feet flat on the floor. Okay, we're gonna reach our arms forward and then come back and pause here. You have a little bit of ab warm up, jumping right in. And then from here, we're gonna keep on going back. Let me take my yeah. So come all the way down and then press your hips up into ridge pose. So just pause here. And notice that power in your quads, your thighs, hamstrings, glutes, back. Just pause here and breathe. And then release, bring your knees into your chest and give yourselves a hug. Okay, bring your knee, your feet back on the floor, bring your hips up back into bridge pose. Back down, bring your knees into your chest, another hug. And one more time, bring it up into bridge. And then bring your hips down to the floor. Bring your arms out to the side. So it's kind of like a T you're making. Bring your knees into your chest. And then slowly let them come over to the right, not quite touching the floor. You're just starting to, a little bit of a spinal twist here and then bring them back to the center and to the left. Make sure you're breathing. So we're doing a few, it's almost like windshield wiping. Just, just do a few of these, notice how it feels 
in your spine and start to notice your abs too. Okay, hold it still, bring your up, feet up toward the, uh, the sky and just pause there. Feel that extension in the backs of your legs. You're flexing your feet, admiring your beautiful non-pedicured toes. <laughs> At least not professionally pedicured, I guess. Depends when you're watching this, I guess, because we are recording it. Let's pause here. And then slowly bring your knees into your chest. Give yourselves another hug. And then slowly, as or however it's comfortable for you, we'll roll on up. Okay, so from here, we're going to come onto all fours into our tabletop. And I'm going to clip this back on. All right, so for tabletop, hands are under our shoulders, knees under our hips. We're going to come into our uh, cat cows. So as we inhale, we'll look up, pull our tailbone up. And then exhale, cat pose, bring your chin toward your chest, round out your back. Inhale, arch your back, looking up. Exhale down. So continue this following your own breath. Movement flows with the breath. Notice how your spine feels. Feel it to wiggle your hips in any of these movements. Do two more breath cycles and then meet me in tabletop. Okay, so let's pause here in tabletop. We're gonna come into our spinal balance now. So right arm up, left leg up, both are parallel to the floor. Your neck is neutral. And then let's switch to the other side. Left arm, right leg. Okay, so continue this breathing up, exhaling down. Inhale up, exhale down. So as you do this, notice how this feels all along your core. And if you've been doing this regularly, you might notice how you actually are starting to feel much stronger on your core just from doing this. Well, from doing the whole practice, but you might be noticing it now. The spinal balance is often prescribed by physical therapists. So that's good to do preventively before issues begin. And do one more on each side. Okay, so let's pause here on all fours. We're gonna take our right leg up, knee bent, and do wide circles there. Okay, same leg, opposite direction. And bring it down, let's do it to the left now. Left leg up. Circles. And opposite direction. Okay, let's bring it down. We'll shift our hips over to the right, look over our left arm. 
Now let's do the same thing to the left. And come back to center. Walk your hands forward, your knees back a bit. So now we're in high plank on our knees. Okay, so remember this is something we can always come back to throughout our practice today. Whenever I cue plank, you can always drop your knees if that's what feels best for your body today. Remember, we left the ego outside. It's not with us anymore, <laughs> if only. All right, bend your elbows, bringing your, your ribs in line with your elbows, low plank, all the way to the mat. Press the tops of your feet into the mat. Rotate your quads outward, engaging your glutes more. Lengthen through your spine, bringing the crown of your head towards the ceiling, working your back into cobra. And then push up and sit back on your heels, extending your arms forward into child's pose. Okay, let's do this two more times, moving with our breath. The breath is our guide. So we'll inhale up and forward into high plank. Exhale, low plank to the mat. Inhale, cobra. And then exhale up and back into child's pose. And final time, inhale up and forward, high plank. Exhale, low plank, all the way down. Inhale, cobra. And exhale up and back into child's pose. Take a couple breaths here and each time you exhale, just envision letting go of any comparisons, expectations, anything else that's keeping you from feeling your full worth. Enjoy. And then when you're ready, come back up into tabletop. We're going to curl our toes under, pause there, feel that lengthening in your feet, toes, arches, and then bring your knees off the mat a couple of inches. Feel that power surge now through your shoulders, back, your quads, and then carry on up into downward dog. Bring your hips up towards the sky. Let's walk our dog, bending one knee at a time. Really appreciating that lengthening that's going on down in our feet, our Achilles, our calves. Okay, hold your dog still here now. And pause. Bring your shoulder blades together. Lengthen your spine by pressing your sit bones up to the sky. And then bend both knees so your shins are parallel to the ground. Notice how this feels. Quads, back, shoulders. And then slowly walk your feet forward, coming into forward fold. So we're keeping our knees soft or bent. Our feet are tracking with our sit bones, so not too wide apart, not touching. Probably not touching, it depends on our build. And just letting our head, arms just hang there all floppy. Breathe. Notice the sensation of the blood coming to your head. energizing us. And then bring your awareness to each foot it has four points. The large toe, the big toe mound, baby toe mound, and then each corner of each heel. So feel that connection with the ground. 
You can bend your knees more if that feels more helpful on your back. And then without moving your feet, press your heels away from each other. Feel that power surge through your legs and hold on to that while you bring your hands to your shins or to your quads. Just feel that lengthening in your spine as you come up to your half lift. Let's bring our hands back down into forward fold. And then as we inhale, slowly come all the way up, reaching forward with the crown of our head. So we're lengthening our spine. Reach up. And a slight, slight back bend, opening up your heart. And then back up, palms together, back down into forward fold. Inhale to your half lift, so hands to your shins or quads. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale slowly all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, step each foot back into high plank or bring your knees to the mat. Shift forward, exhale, low plank, and then all the way to the floor. Inhale your chest up into cobra. And then exhale through tabletop and into downward dog. Let's do that again. Bend both knees. And walk your feet forward into forward fold. So again, moving with our breath. Inhale to your half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, step back into high plank. Shift forward, exhale, low plank to the mat. Inhale, chest up into cobra. And then exhale through tabletop and into downward dog. Take our right leg up to the sky, reaching through the leg, through the hip. Feel that extension and breathe. Now let's bring that foot forward, placing it between our hands in a lunge. Remember the lunge, knees always tracking over our heel. So we're going to come up for a high lunge. So remember those four points on the front foot grounding there, setting down our roots so we can bring our torso up for balance. You can place your hands on your hips if you prefer. Otherwise, extend them up in our victory pose. Victory, we've made it. We're here. Breathe. Press that front foot into the mat. Feel that power. And now let's reach forward and down, once again, framing our front foot. And then step your right foot back into high plank. Okay, so here, optional, you can bring your knees to the mat. Shift forward, low plank, back up, downward dog. Pause, couple breaths. All right, let's take our left foot up now. Downward dog split, lengthening, strengthening, breathing. And now bring that foot forward. So we're placing our left foot between our hands in a lunge. Rooting that left foot, preparing ourselves for a little balancing here. Okay, so come on up. Remember these balance poses. You can always use a prop like a block, chair, old dog. Breathe. And once again, reaching forward and down. Step your left leg back into high plank. Drop your knees if you want. Shift forward, down. 
up, and now let's bring it onto our forearms. So forearm plank, and you can always drop your knees here. Just breathe. Notice how this feels all on your back. If your back doesn't feel supported, definitely bring your knees down. Two more breaths. And slowly bring it all the way down. Bring your arms alongside your body. <sighs> Let out a sigh. Let's bring our arms out in front of us now. So we're going to raise our arms, our chest, our feet and our legs, our neck is neutral. We're in superhuman pose and we're breathing. So stay up here now, lower your left arm and your right leg. So opposite arm to leg or off the floor. Breathe and now switch. Switch. Okay, so keep switching, breathing. Notice what this subtle shift does in your whole core. And then hold both up, all of it up. Breathe and release. Let out a sigh. Okay, bring your hands over by your ribs. And now pressing the tops of your feet into the mat. Rotate your quads outward. Lengthen your spine, bringing the crown of your head toward the ceiling. Press your hands without actually moving them. Press them back toward your feet. Feel how that strengthens your back even more and breathe. And press through your hands up into seal. And then come back into child's pose. If you want to, you can rock your hips here, do hip circles. Notice how this feels on your back muscles. Come forward back onto your forearms, forearm plank. Now we're going to take our right hip to the mat, raise it, and then our left. Up, down, up. So keep alternating. And while you're doing this, you're breathing. Notice how you're really strengthening your obliques here. Or notice how they're already so strong. Okay, let's come up into plank here. And then slowly walk your hands forward, coming into dolphin pose. So just pause here, feel your sit bones reaching for the sky, lengthening your spine. Turn your heels outward so you're pigeon toed and pause. Let's turn our toes back in, come onto your knees and bring your body up. Turn towards you. All right, so we're gonna do sort of a half camel here. So, actually I'm gonna turn this way. So when you do camel, you wanna separate your knees a little more. And then you can either stay on the top of your foot or curl your toes under. It's up to you what you wanna do. We're going to reach back with one hand, extend the other hand up. 
And if you have any back issues, just come back a little bit just to where you feel your back muscles engaged as well as your abs. So see what works for you. And then slowly come on up using those abs and then switch to the other side. And come back up and into child's pose. Once again, extending your back, relaxing those muscles. Come on up. Swing your feet around. You're like this again. Yep, we're back here. This time we're going to place our hands flat on the mat with the fingers pointing towards your feet in that direction. In other words, not like that. Fingers toward feet. And then bring your hips up into reverse table. Relax your head. And notice how this feels in your shoulders. If this does not feel good, then please don't do it. You can always come onto your forearms instead if you'd like. Which we will do next. Okay, so release that. So you probably felt that here in your shoulders, upper arms. It's really good for strengthening that. We can extend our legs out now and come onto our forearms. Okay, so it's like we're, I mean, it's Memorial Day weekend. We're hanging out at the beach. Okay, not. We are not doing that right now. We are bringing our hips up, even if it's just a millimeter off the floor. Let's feel that power in your glutes, quads, abs, back, shoulders. Breathe. And release. Slowly come on up. It's not as easy as it looks, is it? All right, let's come back over onto tabletop. Okay, so curl your toes under. Raise your knees off the floor. And continue up into downward dog. Let's take our right leg up. Bring it forward, placing your right foot between your hands so you're in a lunge. Okay, so with your back foot, you're going to replace the pad of the foot with your heel. And then bring your body up with a nice long spine. Your arms are either reaching up or you can place your hands here on your hips. And then reach up and back a little bit. Breathe. And back up. Okay, placing, or rather bring your awareness to your front foot, to those four corners. Again, rooting down for balance. We're going to take an airplane ride. <laughs> the only one we might be able to do these days. So we're going to reach through. Raise our back leg, bring our torso somewhat parallel to the floor, and then our arms are at our sides, palms facing the ceiling of the sky. So yes, we're balancing. If this is not working for us today, and we're falling flat on our face, and we don't want to do this right now, like this, you can always bring your hands to the floor, use a prop, use a chair, the wall, a small child and breathe. Feel that power in your back, your legs, glutes, your brain. And then let's bring it down to the mat. Step your right foot back into high plank. Shift forward, down and up. You can always drop your knees for that and then we're going. Take our left leg up now. Good. 
and then bring it forward, placing your left foot between your hands in that lunge. And then we replace the back pad of the foot with the heel, and then bring your whole body up into warrior one. Victory arms or hands on your hips, whatever you need to do. Look up and back. Back up. Once again, rooting with the left foot down into the earth. And then when you're ready, hinge forward, swooping your arms through. If you notice at one side, might be different from the other as far as balance goes. That's totally normal. Breathe. And now reach down and step back into high plank. Again, dropping your knees if you prefer. Shift forward, down, up, and downward dog. <sighs> and out of side, that feels good. Let's take our right leg up. And bring it forward, placing your right foot between your hands. So once again, in a lunge. <sighs> yeah. I was inviting you to lunch today, and I actually meant lunge. <laughs> All right, so let's bring our body up. And we're gonna press through our front foot. Remember, you can always use something here for balance. We're gonna come up for our power lunge. See, there we got R again, right? Not power lunge, power lunge, same thing. <sighs> Breathe, feel that strengthening all along your core here. I have no idea how many we've done and I can't hear Marnie who usually keeps tabs. So I'm gonna do two more here. We're kind of sort of aiming for 10, but these days just counting anyway. All right, let's reach down. We're going to swing our front leg back and up into down the dog split. And then let's bring that knee forward between our hands, still staying in a plank, and then back and up. Forward, the knee does not touch the floor. Back and up. Three more of these. Keep breathing. You can always drop to your left knee if you prefer. Bring the knee out to the side, the right knee, and bring it into downward dog. Breathe. All right, let's take our left leg up. And remember, really check in with yourself throughout. If you start to feel dizzy or if you're like, wow, this is really not my thing today, do whatever you need to do for self-care. Let's bring our left foot forward um, into a lunge. Sometimes when we need a pause, we can do child's pose or downward dog or lie down, whatever you need to do. All right, let's bring your body up into that lunge. Press through the front leg, back down, again. Maybe I'll count this time, how's that? All right, got six left. Make sure you're breathing. Two more. I can't see you, but I know you're doing great. All right, let's bring our hands down. We're gonna swing that front leg back, down dog split. And now bring your left knee between your hands five times. So back, through, Keep going. Two more. Make sure you're breathing. 
And last time, meet me in downward dog. All right, great job. Bend both knees. Slowly walk your feet forward, coming into forward fold and pause here. And outside, bring your hands to your lower back. If that feels good, you can press them forward. And bring your hands back down. So grab your big toes, bending your knees as much as you need to. And then see if you can bring your heart toward your thighs. So your upper body comes to meet your thighs. Feel that extension all along the back body. Keep breathing. Don't force it, just soften into it. And release. So let's widen our stance here. We're going to walk our feet out so they're about mat width apart or so. Bend your knees so you're coming into a squat here. And so notice how this feels in your hips right now. You want to have your heels flat, so you might want to widen your stance more if you need to. Now we're going to press through our heels and come about halfway up. Pause. And then slowly come all the way up. Okay, back down. And again, slowly. Right, we do this slowly. Well, not only because we love it, so why would we want to rush it? But so that we can really feel all the power as we come up, press through your feet, through your legs. Feel your inner thighs really collaborating here with the effort, which you may notice tomorrow. You're welcome. All right, so keep going. Let's pause at the bottom here. Okay, come about halfway up and then raise your heels off the floor. Pause here. Let's bring our heels back down, slowly come all the way up, take a deep breath, reach up, and then exhale down into forward fold. Release your head, your neck, you can bring your feet back together if you want. Let's bring our hands to our elbows and gently sway up the body. Breathe. Release your hands to the floor. Okay, so we're going to come into our half lift, inhaling. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, step back into high plank. Shift forward, exhale, low plank, and then either come all the way down into cobra or come up into upper dog. And then exhale, downward dog. Stick the right leg up. Bring it forward, placing it between your hands into a lunge. So here we're gonna add our twist. You can drop your back knee if you prefer. Twist into the right leg, into the front leg. Breathing. Noticing how this feels all along your thigh, glutes, IT band, right shoulder. And lower that arm. Come onto your back knee. Bring your body up, palms together. Point your fingers up and back. And back up. Let's move our right foot out to the side of the mat and bring our hands to the inside of it. 
So you can stay here or you can, if you want, so you can come down onto your forms. You can use a stack of books or a block to help bring the floor up to meet you if you prefer. Just breathe into it. Notice how this feels, your whole hip zone. And then slowly coming on up. Let's take a moment and just turn a little bit into your front leg. So it's like you're leading with your chest toward your right knee. And notice how that, that feels like you're stretching out your, extending your left hip area. So doing a bit of a spinal twist. Just notice what's going on here. Breathe. And then back to center, let's shift our right leg into pigeon. So we're folding in front of us, our back leg is extended, our balance is centered. And then just fold forward if that feels comfortable. And breathe. And while you're here in what many consider very restful, shape. Just notice how it feels in your body, your leg, back glutes. And then slowly coming up out of that, shift your right leg back through tabletop and into downward dog. Take your left leg up and now bring it forward, placing your left foot between your hands. Once again, lunging. We're gonna twist to the left, breathe. And then bring that arm down and come on to our back knee. Bring your body up, palms together. Point your fingers up and stretch back. And then come on back. Bring your foot out to the left side of your mat. Place your hands to the inside of your foot. And pause here. And then if you feel so inclined, you can see you want to come down onto your forearms or whatever prop you might have there. And again, noticing how this feels in that hip area. Let's slowly bring the body up and then shift our left leg into pigeon. And then if it feels good, extend forward and down, breathe into it. And try not to check out, especially in these really maybe soothing shapes that we take. It can be really easy to let our mind wander. See if you can stay engaged your breath, the sensations in your body. And then slowly bring your body up. And then same thing over here. See if you can twist a tiny bit to the left. So a real subtle twist. But just notice how it feels. And 
So you can do that twist in this, which we did over here, or the other side, I think we did it in the lizard pose. So play around with it, see what works, what feels good for you. So we're gonna bring our feet around, once again, placing them flat on the floor, reaching arms forward, coming back to that ab engagement where we pause here, nice long spine, we're breathing. I know you're breathing. Still in and out through your nose. A couple more breaths here. And then slowly come on to your back and bring your knees in. Give yourselves a hug because you are amazing. And roll around on your back if that feels good. Okay, let's bring our feet flat. We're going to bring the soles of our feet together and release our knees to the floor. Notice how this feels in your hips as you soften into this sort of lying down butterfly shape. Notice your back. You want to bring your lower back towards the ground. So see what shifts you need to make in order to do that. Close your eyes if you want. See how this feels for you, is it soothing? Is your breath slowing down? You can stay here if you absolutely love it, which who doesn't? Or you can extend your legs out Reach your arms up toward the sky and then overhead and just do a couple of last stretches here, feeling the lengthening all through your body. On your next inhale, take your arms up toward the sky and then gently lower them at your sides. Closing your eyes if you haven't already, if that feels comfortable. Otherwise, just let your gaze be soft. What is your body feeling right now? Do you feel any pulsing, tingling? Feeling it? Deeper relaxation, perhaps. Just noticing it, listening to your body. Softening your face, your forehead, cheekbones, jawbones. Notice your breathing. Perhaps feeling your body soften deeper into your mat every time you exhale. And doing your best to stay present in your breath or in the sensations in your body. And when you get bored of that and your mind wanders and you notice that, perhaps choosing to bring it back, letting go of the thoughts, 
Coming back to your breath, your body. Almost everyone is screwed up, broken, clingy, scared, and yet designed for joy, even or especially. People who seem to have it more or less together are more like the rest of us than you would believe. I try not to compare my insides to their outsides because this makes me much worse than I already am. And if I get to know them, they turn out to have plenty of irritability and shadow of their own. Besides, those few people who aren't a mess are probably good for about 20 minutes of dinner conversation. This is good news, that almost everyone is petty, narcissistic, secretly insecure, and in it for themselves because a few of the funny ones may actually long to be friends with you and me. They can be real with us, the greatest relief. As we develop love, appreciation, and forgiveness for others over time, we may accidentally de develop those things toward ourselves too. While you might think it's a trick, having affection for one's goofy, crabby, annoying, lovely self is home. This has been my meager salvation. That we are designed for joy is exhilarating, within reach, now or perhaps later today after a nap. As long as we do not make mistake excitement for joy. Joy is good cheer. My partner says joy and curiosity are the same thing. Joy is always a surprise and often a decision. Joy is portable. Joy is a habit. And these days, it can be a radical act. Buffy St. Marie said, keep your nose to the joy trail. So for now, let's define joy as a slightly giddy appreciation, an inquisitive stirring, as when you see the first crocuses, the earliest struggling, stunted emergence of color in late winter, cream or gold against the tans and browns. To have a few amazing friends on this side of eternity, this sometimes grotesque amusement park is the greatest joy. As Saint Betty sang in the bathhouses, you've got to have friends. We cannot depend solely on spouses to dump on, to share intimate thoughts with, or reveal our deepest truths to. Trust me, they have been through enough just living with us. Our yokes are heavy. Healthy people need to unburden sometimes unpleasant feelings and information, such as hating everything about life and everyone on earth, and hoping the bad people are killed by snakes, or that they just ate all the frosting off a Safeway carrot cake because they were feeling fragile. It is very normal, and in fact increasingly so, for anyone in their right mind to feel or do these things, and so therapeutic to tell the miserable truth. Everyone is capable of making at least one friend, even the worst of your relatives or the crabby neighbor down the street. We all know someone who's pretty awful in every way, yet who has managed to find a loyal friend or two. And then there are the ostentatious displays of this. Maybe your sad widowed uncle who is angry and heavy footed and who doesn't even pretend to care to be interested in others at the holiday table has a devoted friend. This is how most of us are stripped down to the bone, living along a thin sliver of what we can bear and control until life or friend or disaster nudges us into baby steps of expansion. We witness and try to alleviate other suffering, but sometimes it just outdoes itself and we are left 
gasping, moaning, and running through it all, there is this jungle. We believe that we are all in this together. We are all in this together. From Almost Everything by Anne Lamott. Let's see when you're ready. Just take a few deep breaths. And think about that. We're all in this together. And then slowly, when you're ready, can you make your way back up into your easy pose with your legs crossed, sitting tall. Your eyes are closed or you're gently gazing at the floor. Bring your palms together at heart center. And let's take a moment to not just feel gratitude, but perhaps even joy in our body. This body that has carried us through our life so far, so faithfully and powerfully, so beautifully inside and out, so wisely and lovingly. As we consider this reading about comparisons, about friendships, about how we're all in this together, perhaps we can consider our body as our friend. So often we spend our lives wishing it were different, thinking about everything that's wrong with it. But perhaps our greatest friend right now is our body and we've just been ignoring that all along. So each of us can perhaps consider how we can Take that into the rest of our day today, befriending our body. Let's take a deep breath. And then as we exhale, down and forward. Peace, gratitude. Thank you guys. Yeah. Yeah, one second.